This episode of Film Learned is brought to you by Filmora 9. I am Friday the Ocean. Hey, dude. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah, that's a hard pass for me, dude. The last time you had that hammer, I got smashed in the head. True, but this time it'll be different. Really? Last time I meant to throw it at you. Well, that makes it right, you idiot. Just shut up and let me show you. Fine. Pretty cool, huh? Hmm, that is kind of cool. See you, big dog. I told you nothing. So that's what justice feels like. Nice. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning good. And just like last week, we are doing another effect that has been requested and requested and requested. We have a whole bunch of Thor effects up on the channel right now, so I thought, why not do another one? And today's Thor effect, if you were watching the opening, is the Thor hammer spin effect. It looks a little like this. Well, not exactly like that, but close. And I'll wait for my new sponsor. Hello friends, Doug here. Do you like video editing software that's both easy and affordable? I know I do. And Filmora 9 is both of those. Whether you're a beginner or a professional, you know, like me, you can use Filmora to create sweet content in no time at all with loads of features that are at your fingertips. You can easily edit footage, remove green screens, add 3D LUTs, transitions, and remove pesky background noise in just seconds. You can work in aspect ratios like cinema or Instagram, have access to loads of inbuilt titles, transitions, and effects. You can also expand your libraries by opening film stocks. Filmora's one-stop shop for everyone to download royalty-free video effects, After Effects templates, stock videos, music tracks, sound effects, stock images, and more. And when you're all done, you can export them in a variety of formats or upload them directly to Vimeo or YouTube. You can even check out the Filmora YouTube channel for loads of great tutorials to show you just how much is possible with this software. So, what are you waiting for? Click the link below and check out Filmora and Filmstocks for yourself. Because I ain't doing it for you. I'm busy. Back to you, Egghead! So in order to complete this effect, all you need to do is just shoot your actor pretending to swing a hammer. It kind of looks really dorky, especially if you add this music to it. Now you also need to head to filmliner.com slash downloads and grab the Thor Hammer download pack, which contains everything we're going to need to put this shot together, including some sweet, sweet sound effects. Now, as always, guys, if you are doing any Thor Hammer effects where you have to interact with the hammer, it's always a good idea to have a Thor practical hammer. I actually grabbed this practical Thor hammer, which is made out of plastic off eBay for around about $15 to $19. I'm not entirely sure. In spite of the fact that it does look quite crappy, it does do the job and it saves you a lot of work instead of putting a computer generated hammer in your hand, which is a tremendous pain in the butt. The butt. Now you got all that, shoot your actor, grab the download pack and let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in After Effects and I've got my shots set up in a comp and ready to go. Now believe it or not, this is actually a pretty easy effect to make. So you can see here I'm twirling absolutely nothing and all I'm going to do is drop in one of the hammer animations from the download pack. This one will do fine. Now you also might notice guys that this shot is different from the teaser. I actually reshot this based on your feedback. so. Thank you very much guys, because you've made this tutorial even better. Let's now move that hammer into position and maybe scale it up. There. Now if we check out a preview, you can see this looks awful, like the poo poo. So let's start improving it. For starters, if your hammer isn't in the right position to match your wrist movements like mine, just bump it along the timeline like this until it does. That's much better. Now if we scrub along a bit, the hammer doesn't stick to my hand after like two or three frames. So it's gone to get lunch and I'm stuck here holding the bag. So this requires a little bit of patience here, ladies and germs. We're going to hit P to bring up position, hit the stopwatch, and we're now going to go frame by frame adjusting the position of our hammer to suit our hand placement in the shot. This is going to ensure that that hammer is exactly where you want it in every single frame. Now guys, it is important to note that you're putting the strap of the hammer in your hand, not the handle, because when Thor swings that hammer, he's swinging it by the strap and not the handle. 
Now, quick tip here, guys. If you happen to be on a frame here and the angle doesn't look right at all, like this one here, you can adjust that by either hitting R, going back one frame, hitting the stopwatch to freeze the animation on that frame, then move ahead to the frame you want to adjust, adjust it, then we want to skip ahead one more frame and then just zero at that rotation. That way it doesn't affect any other frames. And you can do this as many times as you like. You can also straight up delete frames if you don't want them as well. So say you find a frame like this one here, you don't like it. Hit Control Shift D to split the clip, trim that frame out and then butt those layers back up and keep going. The end result guys is going to look a bit like this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pre-compose all of these layers and name it Hammer. Next step, we want to color correct the hammer to better suit the shot. As always gang, I'm using Red Giant's Colorista 4, it is my jam, but you can use whatever color correction plugins or software you like. I'll now turn that on and off to show you the difference. Make sure and find a balance that works for your particular shot. Next up, Motion Blur. Well, kind of. With these kind of effects, Motion Blur doesn't work well at all. The object just moves too fast for the plugins to make any sense of it. Not to mention the render times for it to just interpret them. So here's my solution, gang. We're going to head up to Effect, Blur and Shop and grab Radial Blur. It's an oldie but a goodie. A bit like me. I'll grab the center point and I'm going to drop that straight on my hand. From there, I'll increase the blur to say 50. See? We're getting that hammer blur like you see in the movies. Now, let's enhance it more. We're going to hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then let's click on the bottom layer and increase the blur to 90. This is going to give our blur a bigger spread while keeping our original blur intact. Okay, that's the blur done. Only two steps to go, guys. Our next step is to duplicate our footage layer and drag it up on top of everything like so. We're then going to grab the pen tool and draw a small mask around the knuckles here on the hand. That looks pretty good. I'm then going to hit F and feather that out around 20 pixels. I'll then hit MM on the keyboard to drop down the mask menu and I'm going to hit the stopwatch on mask path. Then I'm going to go ahead and go frame by frame, adjusting this to be in line with my hand till I've reached the end of the comp. Yes, once again, it's a bit tedious, but end result, worth it. Now guys, while you're doing this, I do also recommend turning off the blur on the hammer layers while you're doing it, because it's going to make your masking and your adjusting a lot easier. Now, whether you do this or not, guys, totally optional. I'm doing this purely because I feel like your hand should be visible holding the strap in these shots, and anything you can do to sell the effect better you do. Okay, that's done. Let's turn the blur back on the hammer layers. All done. That is looking pretty sweet. So, last step here, guys. A little shadow games. So, we're swinging a hammer in front of us, right? It probably should cast a shadow at some point. Hmm? So, let's make one. Let's duplicate our bottom layer, like so. Turn off Colorista and the blur. For now. And let's just move it over a little bit. There we go. Next, we'll head up to Effect, Perspective, and grab Drop Shadow. Let's check on Shadow Only, and adjust the distance, angle, and softness to suit our shot. That looks pretty good to me. If you want to turn the blur back on after the fact, and maybe adjust it or lower it, go for it. I'd recommend lowering it. Now, we want to restrict the shadow to just our body. So, let's grab the Pen Tool, and draw a rough mask around our torso area here. That looks pretty good. That way, basically, it just hits our shirt and leaves the rest of our shot alone. We can then hit F and feather that out a bunch. And now, if we check out a preview, that, my friends, is another effect. <laughs> Done. Now, gang, I'm also including the 3D Hammer model Cinema 4D file. That includes the animation that is super easy to work with. And it should work with Cinema 4D Lite as well. This is more for folks that want a different perspective in their renders and they want to get a little bit more advanced. All you really have to do here is just import your own background in. Then you can move the hammer into position wherever you like and the animation won't be affected at all. You can move that hammer around 
and even rotated and you're not going to stuff that animation. So you're all good. If anyone wants any more advanced tips on doing this, just let me know down in the comment section. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Just shut up and let me show you. Fine. Pretty cool, huh? Hmm, that is kind of cool. See you big dog, I told you nothing. So guys, that is my take on the Thor hammer spin effect from just all those Marvel movies. I'm not gonna bother naming them all. As you can see, it's really not that hard to pull off. Oh my God, the hammer pulled you off. It, that was a poor choice of words. Nevertheless, it is pretty easy to do, especially since I animated the hammer spinning already for you. You're welcome. You're welcome. But for now guys, that's all I've got for you. If you did enjoy the video, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it and it does help out. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film learning episode because we've got a lot more on the way. If you head over there, we've got two other videos that are Thor related, as well as all my social media crap so you can stay up to date with behind the scenes, work in progress stuff and all of that good stuff. If you want to help support the channel, you can just click that Patreon link, or if you want to support us directly on YouTube, you can click that join button below. But until I see you again, guys, keep learning.